Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a standard work instruction in VKS. I've already started creating my work instruction, you're seeing it on the screen right now. And we're just going to continue on and add our different annotations and our different instructions to this in order to create our process. Now you can add a blend of image, text, and video in order to show your process and clearly identify everything you have to do in your process. You can also use our different annotations that we have, our text, our number droplets, our arrows, our outlines, even additional images on this step or on a step you can use in order to show and explain your process. This way you can easily show everything you want to uh, using images, video, and text, and easily show standardized work instructions on how to complete any type of process you want to. Uh, as we're going through this, I'm going to create some instruction using our paragraph annotations, uh, you're going to see me using some number droplets. Now these are nice for numbering, for sequencing. Uh, you point out basically anything you want to with them. Uh, so these are nice as well. Uh, and uh, you can see a clearly defined process on how we're going to be performing some sort of action between each step. You can even add additional images to your steps in order to show tools, uh, additional pictures of close-up zooms of items really anything you want to and you can have as many images on a step as you want. Okay now we're at the end of our work instruction. Uh, so we're adding the finishing touches, we're going to add a uh, quick inspection check to the end here and then maybe talk about where to move the parts after the unit is completed or the parts are completed. And you can add as much detail to these instructions as you want to. So at the beginning if you want to have workstations set up, at the end you want to have final inspections and moving parts to the next work area, something like that, feel free to add as much detail in order to show, really show the process and everything you have to do in the process. After I'm done creating my work instruction, I can review this and take a look at it in order to see how somebody's going to see it on the shop floor. So when somebody's executing this, how is it going to look? So this is an example of seeing and testing out this work instruction. I can go through the different steps. I can even swipe through this if I have a touch device, a tablet, any kind of mobile device or a touchscreen computer. So if we like what we see, what we can do is one of two things. We can submit this for review using the built-in review process or we can publish this work instruction. If we publish this, we're going to write some comments in here. I'm going to write new release, meaning it's just a brand new work instruction and we're going to select publish. That means it's available for use on the shop floor. So now I'm taking on the role of a reader in the system. So somebody that's going to execute these work instructions step by step. So I'm following through my process steps. If I have a touch device, I can swipe through like normal. Uh, and I'm going to just execute and follow my steps. At some point, I may have some sort of question, improvement idea, something that I want to communicate. We can use the built-in messaging feature in VCAS in order to send a message to anybody we want to or anybody we need to and let them know. We have an improvement idea, we have a question, hey, please come see me, any of this. Any person executing the work instruction can use this send a message feature at any time. Okay, so now we've executed our work instruction, but now I'm taking on the role of the author again, making updates and changes. And we can easily make any type of update or change in our process. We can be working on this as people are executing this work instruction, and then we can republish or resubmit this for review. As soon as this updated version is published, anybody using the SunShop floor is going to get an update on their computer. It's going to say, hey, there's a new version available. It will bring them to their new version. And this ensures that you always are using the most up-to-date work instruction possible. I want to thank you for your time today. If you have any additional questions or want any additional information, please feel free to check out our website, vksapp.com. And thank you again.